Hello and welcome to CRA Diecast for another Diecast unboxing. Thanks for dropping by. I'm Chris. A big shout out to all my subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. Today I was out and about doing a bit of peg hunting and I did um, go back to my uh, the flea market where I got a whole lot of decent castings a month or so ago. And today was no exception and I think today I really did overspend. I think I spent about $175 on some awesome die casts, some that I haven't been able to collect and some that are uh, quite a few years old and I did get a little bag of four beaten up die casts for about five bucks. I did uh, pick up half a dozen Hot Wheels Premiums, a Johnny Lightning truck, some new release Matchbox which I haven't been able to get off the pegs. So these are sort of popular ones and they've all gone. And then I picked up oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 10, 11 Hot Wheels. Some are a few years old. And to start with, got a Johnny Lightning from 2017. It's a um, 1996 Dodge Ram F or Dodge Ram 1500. And it's like a a work in progress, so it's in like a primer grey. So that was really unique. It was only fifteen dollars. Normally, these for a new one are about eighteen or nineteen dollars over here in South Australia. So not too bad. So we'll crack him open. Got an opening hood. We'll see if that. Oh yeah, it opens up really nicely. It's in a primer grey. You can see the engine detail in there. Ram logo on the front glass. Black side mirrors. A side step underneath the door. Real rubber tyres. Now this one's got a tyre off the rim. So we'll just Push him back on. That's better. And she rolls. Yeah, a little bit of a kink in the front left wheel. From the back, you see the Ram logo on the rear glass. Tempoed brake lamps. A rear step. Copyright 1997, but uh, on the top it's got a date 8th of April 2017, so it's a 2017 release in this colour. But yeah, this is really nice. I do like these big pickup trucks. Big nudge bar on the front. So that was a good score. Then I did pick up another Mercedes Benz 300 SL from the Jay Leno Garage series. So I won't open this because I've already got one that I've opened, so I'll leave this one carded. But yeah, I do love this casting. Looks great in the strawberry red. And this was 15 bucks as well, which is not bad. It's been around since 2021. And they have that... Uh, I think I got most of those. I didn't get the uh, tank car, I don't think. But yeah, I got the rest. But yeah, I did um, really want another one of these because I'd opened the other one. So that was a good pickup. And then from Fast and Furious, I did get this uh, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body in gloss black. Never got this one. I think what's the rest? Oh, this is only fairly new. Got the Camaro. The Plymouth is here. Oh, that's a different uh, series. 
wasn't keen on the Land, Land Rover, but I got the Lycan Motorsport, so we'll crack this charger open. This looks awesome, real rubber tyres, looks like it's got uh, stripes on the hood and roof. Looks a bit like carbon fibre. Nice black rims, real rubber tyres. Hellcat uh, logo on the front fender. Oh, a grey grill. Inserted headlamps, I think. Look like acrylic headlamps. Flared wheel arches. And she rolls. Much better than Johnny Lightning. See the gear shifter in there. Not a bad representation of a steering wheel. Fully tampoed brake lamps and dodge script. Little antenna on the roof. Yeah, I do um, quite like that one. get the um, Plymouth GTX from the uh, Fast and Furious, so that's the next one, a black 71 Plymouth GTX. Couldn't get this, so looks awesome. I will crack that one open. No opening parts. But uh, nicely tampered graphics on the front of the hood. Nice choice of rims. They're like a fawn or a brown colour with chrome trim rings. Yeah, these are nice. Probably decaled brake lamps. White tyres. This is. Oh, I can't see the copyright. No. Right, nice grill work and headlamps. Bonnet bulge. Yeah, so that's uh, quite a nice piece. from their Forza series, a uh, 94 Audi Avant RS2 wagon. Oh, that's neat as well. Didn't get this one because of course all the good stuff is always gone. Oh crap that. Do you like these Audi wagons? This one looks fantastic. Copyright 2020. But, uh, oh, this one's only got tampoed headlamps. The Audi rings look good. Black grill. Chin spoiler in orange. Forza script on the front glass. Twin mirrors. White multi-spoke rims and a little bit of um, body cladding down the bottom, dark tinted windows, big flared wheel arches, you can see those wheels just barely fit under, a nice brake lamp, details with the Audi rings, bit of a sunshade or lift spoiler at the back, but yeah this is awesome, I do love this.
in a recent release from 2022, Hot Wheels Boulevard, it's a five car set, another Audi, a Porsche which I just got today, this Mercedes, I've been looking high and low for that but I finally found it today, Nissan Sylvia, haven't found that, and the Challenger, haven't found that, but, uh, this one is the nice gold Porsche. 911 turbo. Oh, crack him open. I love these Porsches and Hot Wheels always make a great job with them. Oh yes, this is excellent. Nice gold yellow finish. Got the uh, tempoed headlamps, turn signals, and fog lamps. Very nice. Uh, yeah, five spoke rims with chrome trim rings, painted door handles, and some bit of body cladding down the bottom. Big whale tail and t um, spoiler at the back, and it's a Real metallic paint where you can see the sparkle in the sun. And real rubber tyres, and this is 2021. Oh, yeah, this is an awesome casting. From the rear, you got the fully decaled brake lamps, Porsche badge, twin exhaust. So, yeah, awesome. And these are like $15, which I know it's expensive, but they're off. On the pegs are about $8 or $9, so basically twice as much. But otherwise, if you buy it online, you've got to pay for postage and everything else, so this 15 bucks is not bad value. And then the next one is the Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5-16 valve in a bottle of green. Love it. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Like a British racing green. Single windshield wiper on the front glass. Nicely done grill and headlamps. Little Mercedes badge on the hood. Black trim around the windows and door frames. Like a pale yellow multi spoke rim with chrome trim rings. Chin spoiler. Twin side mirrors. Flared wheel, wheel arches. From the back, nicely tempoed brake lamps, model designation, Mercedes star, flared wheel, wheel arches. This is 2016, wow, it's old, but um, beautiful casting, gorgeous colour, big rear deck wing, really stands out. Okay, next up from Hot Wheels is a Grand to, from the Gran Turismo series, the 2014 Corvette Stingray, and this was a 2017 release. You can get uh, all of these cars in the set, so that's the one I got. It's in a nice purplish blue. Oh, yeah, that's really nice.
copyright is 2013. But yeah, she's a bit of a stunner. She's got uh, yellow illuminescent headlamps. Hood scoop. And clear roof. Nice chrome rims. Do like these Corvettes. Ah, oh, damn, they haven't done the back. Got four exhaust pipes at the back. Oh, yeah, it's a really nice blue colour, deep blue. <coughs> and that was only five bucks. Was that? Uh, I know, that was 10, but the next one is a Cadillac CTS-V from 2012 from their Hot Room, Hot Wheel Showroom 2013 series. It's in like a metallic red. Crack that one. Yeah, this flea market has lots of old, old cars, so it's a nice little place to go. This is copyright 2009. That's a nice um, metallic red sunroof. Yellow trim rings around the five spoke rims. I like the Cadillac. Oh, they've done the brake lamps. Good. And yeah, a chrome strip on the boot lid yeah that's a nice casting and this is five bucks so good value for five bucks I think it's ten years old And from 2021, and this one's Sylvia LB Super Silhouette in gloss black with gold. Looks a bit like the John Player special livery. Never got this one, so this is a great find, and it was five bucks. Sorry about the noise, every time I do a film, the plane comes over. Oh, there we are, that's gorgeous. Really well detailed, nice gloss black paint. Big flared fenders. And chin spoiler. Twin mirrors. Yeah, this would be one of my favourites. Big rear deck wing bronze trim rings around the wheels wide body kit on the back and front and a rear diffuser and like a camel colour interior uh, it's a great looking model and again that was only five dollars so really happy to get that picked up a Nissan Fair Lady Z from 2015 from their Hot Wheels Speed Graphics metallic blue Fifteen copyright, so oh. big flared arches, wheel arches, right hand drive, Cato House script on the front, 
pretty nice blue metallic paint and grey rims yeah I haven't got many of these and just silver finish at the back but yeah the really wide wheel arches on them So that was five bucks, I was happy with that one. And then a, another one from 2013, a Datsun 240Z in gloss black with blue accents. So I'll put these two side by side. It doesn't have a copyright on the bottom, but uh, on the packaging it says 2013, so I'll go with that. That looks great. Blue interior, rear lip spoiler. I think better rims on it. And again, just twin exhaust at the back metal body, plastic base oh how's the time? 21 minutes and we've got 8 or 9 more the next one from 2021 a 74 Escort RS 1600 from their Rally Champs I never got this one so Again, this was five bucks. In a powder blue, gorgeous. Got the rally headlamps at the front, checkerboard decaled roof. White five slotters. This is right hand drive, being British. A black bumper. Twenty fourteen release. Dark tinted windows. Yeah, that's a nice little casting. That one. Got a couple of these. Different variations. And of course, I did pick up another Bentley. This is from 2018. It's a 2018 Bentley Continental GT3 in British Racing Green with the 100 years of Bentley logo on it. And that's great. I do love these Bentleys. that British racing green big whale tail or big rear deck wing body kit down the bottom black rims 100 year decal and it's got uh, twin mirrors but uh, no tail brake lamp detail. But yeah, love that colour. Best colour for a Bentley. Wheels at 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata in pale yellow and black. Uh, 
That was a nice pickup. I did get another one as well. A later release. And I'll show that after this one. The rear deck wing roll cage inside. You can see the console. Right hand drive, sort of a steel grey rims, a bit of body cladding and chin spoiler. I did get one of these as a treasure hunt. One of the few that I've been able to get. But yeah, it looks great in this pale yellow. And the other one is a charcoal grey and that's from 2021 so we'll put them side by side yeah it's got an orange base or orangey red almost exactly the same same Big spoiler at the back. Different, different graphics. Same roll cage. Crane or the charcoal one's got a diffuser at the bottom. Body kit down the side. Ah, so these are a nice pair. And then from 2018, a 69 Shelby GT500 in a blue metallic. And this was ten dollars. 2018 release. And this one looks really nice. I haven't seen this casting before. Roll cage at the back, folded down top, aero disc rims, sun visors on the glass, oh, and they've painted the brake lamps, good job. Yeah, they never haven't got the copyright on that. Oh, yeah, 2010. But yeah, I do like that one. And the next one, I think, has come from Indonesia. It's got an Indonesian label on the back. That's Indonesian. And it's a um, Corvette C7R in yellow. I may have this. I'm not sure. I've got so many of these castings but this was only again five dollars big flared wheel arches nice gold metallic a bit like that um, Porsche Nice rims and wheels, huge rear deck wing, tinted glass. Ah, so another good find. And from Matchbox, from their current release, the 66 Dodge Charger in metallic green. This one is never in the boxes, it's always gone, so I'd had to pay five bucks for it, so I wasn't sorry about that. But yeah, this is nice. Crack him open. Yeah, 
nice release, nice metal metallic green paint where you can see it really pops in the sun. Dog dish hubcaps and chrome trim rings. This is a real big car. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I've been looking for this for ages. So I'm happy to pay five bucks. Big chrome grill. Yeah, very nice. Three Porsches left from Matchbox and they're all brand new releases. The next one is a 918 Spider, like a pale green. I'll crack that one. Again, five dollars. I think some of our convenience stores sell Matchbox for about three fifty, some are four fifty, so five bucks. Not bad to pay that little bit extra. Hot Wheels, oh sorry, Matchbox rims on it. Oh, sorry about the shadow, I'm running out of space. But you have done a great job on the tamp home. Brake lamps and script and 911 Spider as a 911. 918. Yeah, it's really nice pale green. And the tempo, the headlamps. I'm losing the sun. Yeah, quite happy to have that one. And the next Porsche is a 911 GT3 in strawberry red. I've got the Roadster version. And there she is. She looks gorgeous. Strawberry red. Again with the tampo headlamps and grill. Chin spoiler. Twin mirrors, left hand drive, nice chrome rims, I like those rims on this car, looks gorgeous, big rear deck wing, and tempered brake lamps, GT3 badge, 2007 copyright, so he's been around. And the next one is the same one, a different variation. It's in white, black rims. So yeah, Get the same number plate. Yeah, same number plate, but uh, just in white, or you can see a roll cage in the back. On both of them, but yeah, I think I like the white one. And I did from this flea market pick up a bag of loose die cast for five bucks. There's about four in there, so crack that open. Oh yeah. 
Corvette from Matchbox, 1987. Copyright, 19. I can't see the copyright. Not sure if it's been repainted or not. So it's got the um, Corvette logo on the sign. The glass is a little bit scuffed, but uh, it's all there and it uh, it runs. Probably just could do with a wash. A couple of little flea bites on it, but, uh, and it's got uh, inserted brake lamps. And the next one is like a Toyota pickup truck. And on the bottom it's got Pikes Peak. It's a Toyota Tacoma. That's unusual. And the last one is a 1982 Pontiac Firebird from Matchbox. Black with red interior. Yeah, that's been around a little bit. A few scuff marks, but um, they're like these Trans Ams. And it's got the chicken on the hood. It's all there, all complete. Metal body, metal base, tyres are a little bit uh, road worn. Oh, sorry, there's one more Ford pickup from Matchbox. Super fast, but it's missing the front grille. Didn't realise that, didn't see it in the bag. But yeah, she's a bit junky. But everything's there. Rolls. Yeah. So that's a bit of a disappointment. So I'll just do a bit of a recap. You can tell me if I think, if you think $175 for all of these was too much money, but you know, you get some unique pieces, the Mercedes, the Porsche, the Audi, the Plymouth and the Dodge, and uh, Jay's 300 SL, and that really nice Dodge Ram, and then the Bat Firebird, the Tacoma, the Mazdas, the Nissans, Another Nissan, Corvette, Cadillac, Escort, Bentley, Shelby, Corvette, the Dodge, and then that uh, trio of nice Porsches. So, tell me what you think. Which was your favourite? My favourite is that uh, green Mercedes, followed by this Ram pickup truck. So I appreciate you dropping by, if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe, it will help me out and I'll catch you on my next video, cheers for now.